hey, this is Katie at Decorate My Life, and this is Hank. He's like our child, and he's insisting on being on my lap right now. This morning, though, I'm working on a pegboard for my craft room, and for the sake of being transparent, this is what an actual Saturday morning project looks like. I haven't gotten myself ready. There's laundry on in the background, and I have a dog in my lap, but um, right now I have a huge plastic frame that needs some paint, and the pegboard needs to be trimmed. And hopefully it'll be able to pop right into place, but we'll see how this goes. I'm going to take you step by step throughout my day of making this project. When I'm done, the pegboard is going to go on this wall, and I'm going to move everything on this wall over to this wall that doesn't have anything on it. Um, so you can try to picture it on this wall. Um, you can also see in the background that I am working on painting random pieces of furniture. This is going to my flea market booth. So we have about 50 things going on, but I'm going to try to focus on the paint I am board out today. on the deck, ready to get started. We are using the Blue Ocean Breeze color Look of the light blue so far. I'm going to do one light coat and let it dry and do one more coat. The key with spray paint especially on plastic, is to not get in a hurry, to do a light coat so that the paint doesn't run. My husband got me this awesome giant piece of pegboard a couple weeks ago, but since then he's been busy with fishing tournaments and cross-country practice and teaching and working at a running store and several other things. He's been too busy to cut it for me, and right now he has a cross-country meet. So, Luckily, we have Lowe's right down the road, so I'm going to hop on down there and have them cut it down to the size that. I just got back from getting the pegboard cut exactly 38 and 3 quarters inches, and it fits perfectly into the notches that were already in the back of the frame. So my next step is to take some Gorilla Glue, and I'm just going to put one drop in between each set of holes on I just finished the pegboard. You can see the finished product behind me. The biggest thing for me is to be able to have everything that I use day to day accessible because even though I had everything organized into little drawers and boxes, it wasn't visible and um, it wasn't where I could just grab it when I need it. So I'm excited to have everything organized in one place. Um, that I can see even from across the room. So now I'm going to go into more into detail of what I decided to place on the pegboard. The weekend is actually over now, but I've had it hung on the wall. It's Monday, and I just finished kind of organizing what I decided to put on it. Here is the finished pegboard project, and the thing that I'm most proud about about this is that I did not go out and buy different organizational things to place things on the pegboard. I found things in our home or repurposed them. I'm going to zoom in on a few things that I use day to day. My beloved pink black and decker drill, my favorite leopard scissors that a student gave me, some paint brushes, my frog tape especially for painting stripes. This little box is for my Arbonne orders. Those are things that I place in the bags when people place orders. My business cards, note cards for thank you notes and little samples. I saw this idea on Pinterest. Now this is, sorry the camera's a little shaky. This is just an old dowel rod that I found out in the garage and I've placed wrapping paper on here that I can easily switch in and out. I can stretch it out and cut it to the size that I need. Let's be honest, there's really no good way to store rolls of wrapping paper that you use often. So I'm gonna try this out. These are actually our Fiesta Ware coffee mugs. They're a little bit too small to use with our Keurig. So I put them in here because I love the colors and they'll be useful to store these supplies. And then they're just sitting on a block of wood that I painted that I found out in the garage. So that worked out perfectly. These two prints are by my favorite artist, Curly Girl or Lee Stanley. This one you may have read about in my about me on my blog. It says true friends see us in all of our pieces not as clutter but as decoration. That was kind of the inspiration of how I chose my blog name. 
So I feel like my husband and I both have so many hobbies and we're kind of scattered as we've moved moved around and kind of gotten settled and that's why I chose the name Decorate My Life. Hopefully that the people that love us um, see as our life is very decorated. This is a frame from our wedding that I repurposed. It had uh, seat names inside that frame but that is special because it is the first anniversary card um, that my parents got us this year. This was a spice rack that my husband found in a storage unit and it said love is the spice of life in the wood. I just gave it a little coat of spray paint and then added acrylic paints to the top where the spices would have gone and then where the paper towel rack would be I just added some extra ribbon there that can be accessible. So as I zoom out here, you can see the final effect, and I'd love for you to post a link to your project if you decide to do a pegboard project, and I encourage you to kind of move things around before you really decide on it. Last night I had it totally different, and I came home today and rearranged it for what would work better for me. So thank you for following along this weekend. I hope it's been fun.